710 ESPN Seattle presents Bob and Graz's One More Thing. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Now what? That was a swing and a miss. I didn't get Brady to laugh on that one, but that's my question for Jack Zarensic. Now what? Uh, I may not be the biggest fan of the move they made for Jesus Montero, but certainly uh, I'm among the illogical fans that knew that they had to do something about the worst offense we've seen in baseball history, basically, for the last two years. They didn't take a step in that direction. I thought the price was too high, but Bob, we both kind of thought even if Prince Fielder had come here, this would have been a team that still needed to do a few more things, and I think with Montero coming in, that's still the case. It is very much the case because he's not Prince Fielder yet. Maybe he turns into him, maybe he becomes Edgar Martinez or Albert Pujols, like a couple of these experts have, have thrown out there. But right now, he's not that guy. So if you're bringing in Prince and you still need pieces, you absolutely need pieces around this guy. You also rely on the young guys to step up and, and kind of reach more of their potential, whether it's Ackley, whether it's Smoke, Carp. All these guys need to step their game up, in particular Franklin Gutierrez. So it, one piece, yeah, it's nice. You're addressing a need. But it needs to be addressed throughout the lineup, whether it's with the guys you already have or bringing in a professional Hitter, hitter a, right. uh, an Adam Kennedy, or somebody that just kind of plays that role of the veteran who's kind of a consistent uh, presence there in the lineup. You and I agreed on one thing, though, I think, when we were talking on the air today, and that is for Mariners fans, okay, it's, it is kind of an exciting move, definitely. And, and, and for those of you who aren't as excited, certainly the pressure is on. He's, a, he's the Yankees' top prospect, it seems, for years. They've been talking about him in that organization forever. When he came up last year and uh, he had 60 at bats, hit, hit 328. But for Mariner fans, I would hate to see the pressure of the world put on this guy coming in. That, hey, here's our cleanup hitter for the next 20 years starting today. I hope they take it slow with him, which is another reason to kind of bring in uh, some more support. And by slow, I don't mean he shouldn't be playing. I mean, of course he should be playing, but he doesn't have to back clean up right out of the start and shouldn't be blamed if they don't hit right out of the game. Well, yeah. You, I mean, if if you don't have other threats in the lineup, that's going to affect what he does, first of all. Second of all, he's 22 years old. He has yet to play a full season. We saw 61 at-bats last year. You've got to, especially in baseball, you've got to be patient with these guys. You've got to exercise some patience. He may be great eventually. I'd be stunned, shocked, and amazed if he comes in next year and he's hitting 320 for the whole year and he, he rips 30 home runs and drives in 100. I don't think it's fair. It's what we're hoping for, but not yeah. in the first year. That's man. kind of the, the banner that's being put on him. This is what he has the potential of doing. But he, you got to get, you got to crawl before you walk. So you're going to yeah. probably go through some growing pains with him. Is the league adjust to him? Is he adjust to seeing everybody day in, day out? It's, it's, it's going to be a process. So hopefully Mariner fans who are starved for wins, starved for offense, we'll keep that in mind. Come on, Jack. Bring a few more hitters in. 